Ahead of Independence Day celebrations on the 15th of August, the national flag is caught in the middle of a political slugfest. From north to south, face-off over the tricolour is being witnessed. Days after the Prime Minister launched the Har Ghar Tiranga campaign and urged citizens to make Tiranga their profile picture to make the campaign a success. Congress has given it an Nehru spin. Congress MP Manikim Tagore changed his profile picture to Nehru holding the tricolour. Reacting to this, BJP took a swipe at Congress party. Listen in. Good enough. We are very happy. Congress is sweeping pictures with Nehru, Nehru ji having holding tricolour in hand. Congress is finally remembering them. Because whenever BJP or any of its leaders, we recall Nehru ji, you guys get very angry, very irritated. Why always you take Nehru? Why always you take Nehru in Jala ji? That is fine of remembering Nehru. So you should be thankful to Modi ji and you should be thankful to BJP and people of this country that we made you remember Nehru ji. The second face-off was witnessed down south in Tamil Nadu, where BJP's state unit had plans to take out a Tiranga bike rally on August 13th, 14th and 15th. The state government, however, has denied permission, sparking a political war of words. BJP Tamil Nadu chief has slammed the DMK government, saying this shows DMK's dislike towards the national flag. The BJP has now approached the Madras High Court to seek permission for the rally. And this is the condition in Tamil Nadu that the, uh, the uh, Dravida model is against our national flag. The Dravida model is against patriotic people. The Dravida model, BMK government, is against people who own this nation and owns this flag. The, the worst unpatriotic group is the BJP. They don't bother about people of Tamil India. So they cannot claim patriotism. In the DMK party headquarters, tomorrow at 8 o'clock, we are hoisting national flag. See, it should be done in a decent way. The bike rally and other things, police will have many things. It is not the government that is blocking it. The police may have some information that these people make, it, but they, you know how these people will create trouble everywhere. The third face off erupted in the national capital, where in the absence of jail chief minister K. Zuwal, Amadi party, wanted Minister Atishi to unfurl the national flag at the official state-level Independence Day program. Now, after meeting the chief minister in jail, Delhi Minister Gopal Rai conveyed K. Jival's instructions to the General Administration Department of the Delhi government that Atishi would be hoisting the flag. The Secretariat had then sent the reference to the Ministry of Home Affairs to the government of India. However, we had seen the Ministry of Home Affairs authorize the LG to nominate any Delhi minister. He in turn chose Kailash Gehlot to unfurl the tricolor. Today, in Delhi, it seems that a new life is coming. I want to say to LG Sahib that we will not get the union jack on the 15th of August. We will not get the union jack on the 15th of August. We will not get the union jack on the 15th of August. We will not get the union jack on the 15th of August. We will not get the union jack on the 15th of August. We will not get the union jack on the 15th of August. होना ये चाहिए कि मुख्यमंत्री को झंडा फहराना चाहिए। मुख्यमंत्री भ्रष्टाचार के आरोप में जेल में बंद है, करोड़ों रुपए की चोरी कमीशन की दलाली के आरोप में। तो अच्छा होता कि वो वहाँ से इस्तीफा देते, आम आदमी पार्टी तय करती, मुख्यमंत्री बनाती, जिसे भी बनाना है, और वो झंडा फहरा� किसी न किसी तरह से राष्ट्रीय पर्व में कोई खलल पड़े ये इस नक्सलवादी विचारधारा का पूरा पूरा गेम था यो वॉचिंग द न्यूज आवर एट टेन डिबेट नंबर टू ऑन टाइम्स नाउ सुपर प्राइम टाइम All right, joining us on the show are now Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, political analyst, leans towards the Congress Party. Parvinder Singh Sethi is a political analyst who leans towards the Ahmadi Party. Harish Mohamad Ibrahim is a political analyst who leans towards the DMK. Tuin Sina Subrashtra continue from debate number one. Let me start with you first. Uh, Harish Mohamad Ibrahim, this matter that's now before the High Court has led the BJP to allege that why is the DMK against the tricolour? What's wrong with taking out a tricolour bike rally in the run-up to Independence Day is a question they are asking. Your response. Yeah, on the Independence Day, the entire uh, district administration will be hoisting the flag and entire uh, the 
state will be hoisting the flag on their own respective government offices. And the CM is hoisting the flag in the state's capital, Chennai. And what is the necessity for the BJP to go on a bike rally? And wherever the bike rallies or wherever the BJP is going with the patriotic mood, they create a problem. And that too, in the sensitive area like uh, Kwayambutu, which they want to make sure these kind of sentiment should be uh, tweaked and it gains a political mileage. The BJP will have... How do you know they're going to create the, a problem, sir? Because, because it is their history. It is their history. And patriotism is the last resort for the scoundrels. No, and no, no. no. Let's, let's, let's... Make sure... No, what no, is the history? Is, like, just come out, come out. Let, no, let's let's not let's not, let's not get into patriotism being an objectionable thing. Let if there are specific law and order incidents that you're referring to, please no, refer to that. Me, I will ask the BJP spokesperson. Me, but let let's not say that patriotism is a bad word. Okay, okay. Let me, At least let of all on Independence Day, I think that's a very insensitive thing to say, Mr. Brian. No, 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 no. That is not insensitive. If they have all the patriotism to their heart and chest. The first national flag has been hoisted on 2022 in the Nagpur RSS headquarters. Where did they gone from 1947 till 2022? That's a separate debate altogether. You can ask that of the BJP. I am discussing the reason why permission has not been given. But since you have said that there are law and order issues and there's a history of that, I want Tuin Sira to respond to you on that. Tuin Sira, there's an issue with such kind of rallies that have happened in the past. Is the statement coming in from Harish Mahmoud Ibrahim? Please respond to it. I am extremely thankful to DMK today for clarifying its anti-India stand because, you know, can you play those words again? I'm shocked that he says that patriotism is the last resort of the scoundrel. So he, he you know, all those people who are unfurling national flags in their homes, he's calling them scoundrels? 100 crore plus people? I mean, is that the attitude of DMK? Last year, you know, they, their skin... Udhani, this uh, Stalin wanted to eradicate Sanatan, but today the truth is out. The fight was not against Sanatan. The fight was against our civilizational values. The fight was against India. And I again, you know, I'm glad that DMK spokesperson has made it very clear on your show. You know, Madhav Tiranga is an emotion. It reminds you of the sacrifice which our freedom fighters have made for the last 200 years and which our soldiers still continue to make on the borders. And finally, do you realize that it, the kind of Businesses generate for small vendors on the streets, for small businesses. 30 crores flags were sold two years ago, generating 500 worth, uh, crores worth of business no, only for small vendors and small yeah. scale businesses. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to get into the commercial aspect of this, but let me bring in. It's 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 about it's about a national sentiment. It's about Independence Day. Every citizen should be allowed to hold the tricolor. It's also a, a, a right that has actually come after a long legal battle. But I just want to ask Harish Mohammed Ibrahim a simple question. Your alliance mm -hmm. partner, the Congress Party, and the state president of the Congress Party, Selva Perundurai, mm -hmm. is also taking mm -hmm. out a two-wheeler bike rally, carrying out a tri carrying the tricolor along. Why are the same yardsticks not being applied there, sir? No, sir, that is what. Because the BJP never in Coimbatore, whatever the routes, whatever the specific routes being given on, even on the Padayatra or anywhere, they never followed it. They go to the areas which has been not earmarked or given any protection and they go ahead and create a ruckus and wantedly they want to create a problem. That is where the law and order problem comes in. And the state administration, district administration has the wholesome authority to protect its people from these miscreants under the roof, under the roof of being diplomatic, under the roof of being patriotic. Because BJP, whenever they take the patriotic gun or the religious gun, they always going to create a nuisance in Tamil Nadu. That too particular in Coimbatore. You know, Mr. Ibrahim, Mr. Ibrahim, Mr. Ibrahim, Mr. No. Ibrahim, I will just say, see, you, you can have a problem with law and order. That's fine. That's the administration's decision. And in fact, I'll come to the BJP on that. But let me bring in, you know, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, do you agree with this prima facie statement of Mr. Ibrahim? that one political party will only create law and order issues because your own state chief has also applied for permission, we understand, for a similar two-wheeler rally carrying the tricolor in Tamil Nadu. Kamru yeah, Ma Madhav, Madhav, there are already precedents to be skeptical about this Tiranga Yatra by BJP and the Tamil Nadu government denying this. You know, you, you must be well aware of the Kasganj riots that happened in 2018. Uh, because of the Tiranga rally that was taken out by the Vishwa Hindu Parisha and the ABVP uh, and BJP cadres in Kasgan, which led to a riots which lasted for at least two to three days. Not, I'm not. I, that's a specific example, just to uh, 
just to maybe uh, put a support to the DMK's decision in not allowing the BJP for the Tiranga Yatra. But coming to the broader perspective out here, you see for the Bhatia Janta Party and the right-wing uh, ecosystem in the country, there is a little mix of uh, Hindutva along with pseudo-nationalism. So anybody opposing them will be projected as opposing the nation or opposing the Hinduism in the country. That's a perceived factor that is going on. Because for these people singing, forcing people to sing uh, Janagana Mana in cinema halls is a, is a symbol of patriotism. Or taking out Thiranga There's Yatra There's a court order, sir. Of... What are you saying? There's a court order to yeah. that effect. Now, Mother, let me finish. You can counter no, me. No, the no, one second, one second. No, no, let's, let's not confuse facts with fiction. No, and I want to bring in Subrashtra on that note because Subrashtra, the allegation is we've seen what's happened in Kazganj. There's been violence over there. And there is a, a deliberate attempt at whipping up passions in the name of nationalism slash patriotism. Please respond to Kamar Zaman Chaudhary. I uh, don't think this kind of... Uh, this kind of ludicrous statement deserves any response, Madhav. When Tohinji says what he says, you know, he lists out why Tiranga is important. Over and above that, even one were to discuss things very, very politically, why would you want to take up a googly like nationalism and want to somehow spin this narrative in your favor? This is a question I asked to the opposition. Why do they do this time after time? Why is it just, why can't they just accept that people love this country? People love symbols associated with this country. People have an emotional value towards these things. And as a political party, just accept that and move on. Why do you have to resist every people's movement as some sort of, uh, you know, a, a, a propaganda? I really don't understand this. Hmm. Now, when he mentions, when Kamru uh, Zaman Chaudhary ji mentions about specific instances, let's get to the detail of those specific instances. What exactly happened in Kasgan, sir? Can you please recount? Because my version will be very different from your version. So then we can continue in the name of democracy about this idea versus that idea. And in the and 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 the collateral damage to that is, according to you, should be that Tiranga should not be celebrated. Hmm. What are you trying to say? Let me bring in Parvinder Singh very... Sethi because a similar battle has been seen in the national capital. Parvinder Singh Sethi, uh, BJP ka kehna hai ki you know what Mr. Kejriwal did, you know sending a letter etc. Ye rules ke bahar tha. Unhone Atishi ka naam diya. अब अब दिया गया है एलजी के द्वारा जो एमएचए से जो उनको इंटाइटल किया गया है कि वो चुन सकते हैं कि कौन से मंत्री हैं उन्होंने कहा कि होम मिनिस्टर तिरंगा अनफर्ल करेंगे हॉइस करेंगे एंड दैट इज कैलाश गहलोत क्या पूरे मामले पे क्या पूरी कंट्रोवर्सी का पूरा एंड हो गया है नहीं देखिए जो जो भी दिल्ली का और जो फंक्शन होता है ऑफिशियल फंक्शन है जिसके अंदर दिल्ली सरकार से चीफ मिनिस्टर तरंगा फहराते हैं वो क्योंकि क्योंकि चीफ मिनिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल जी ने आतिश जी का नाम रेकमेंड करा था लेकिन किन्हीं वजहों से उनके पास पहुंच नहीं पाया लेकिन एलजी एलजी साहब ने उनकी एक आदत बन गई है कि एक नेशनल डे जिसके अंदर पूरी दुनिया चाहे वो किसी भी पार्टी को बिलोंग करता है चाहे वो किसी भी रिलीजन को बिलोंग करता है चाहे वो किसी भी स्टेट को बिलोंग करता है वो नेशनल डे के दिन इस उत्सव को मनाने के लिए सारी दुनिया एक एकत्रित होकर मनाती है बजाय इसके कि इसके अंदर कोई घटिया राजनीति हो या घटियापन की कोई बात हो लेकिन एलजी साहब का हर बात के अंदर यही सवाल यही सवाल आपकी ओपोनेंट्स बीजेपी ही नहीं लेकिन यही सवाल कांग्रेस भी उठा रही है कि क्या ये अवॉइड नहीं किया जा सकता अगर केजरीवाल जी अपना इस्तीफा दे देते हैं चीफ मिनिस्टर इनफैक्ट संदीप दीक्षित गोज ऑन टू से दैट केजरीवाल मैड लव फॉर पार इज द रीजन इज नॉट रिजाइनिंग एज चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड हीडिंग द एडवाइस ऑफ कोर्स ऑफ यू नो अदर्स ऑन दिस मैटर बट वील टू लीव इट कम्प्लीटली आउट ऑफ टाइम एंड यू नो वन थिंग इज वेरी क्लियर दट वेदर इट्स तमिलनाडु वेदर इट्स डेली वेद इट्स अदर पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री द पॉइंट इज दैट इंडिपेंडेंस डे इज अ डे वन वी शुड बी सेलिब्रेटिंग द ट्राई कलर सेलिब्रेटिंग आर फ्लैग Perhaps no other country in the world will have this kind of politics surrounding its own national flag, which should be there to inspire its citizens. Instead, what we are seeing is an ugly political face-off take out uh, take place in different parts of the country. Tuin Sena, Subrasha, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, Parvind Singh Sethi, and Harish Mawad Ibrahim, thanks so much for joining us this evening.